After years of uncertainty, it appears that producer James Cameron has confirmed the development of not just Alita Battle Angel 2, but also a third film. The 2019 film, directed by Robert Rodriguez, is an adaptation of the Japanese manga Gunnam. While the movie received generally positive reviews, its box office success was moderate and plans for two sequels remained in limbo. In a recent interview with Forbes, where Cameron discussed his decision to sell his California mansion, he seemingly spilled the beans on the progress of multiple Alita Battle Angel sequels. Though he didn't provide specific details or timelines, Cameron's statement strongly suggests that development is underway. Notably, this development work will likely occur alongside Cameron's commitment to the three remaining sequels to Avatar. Cameron's comment sheds light on his busy schedule, mentioning his work on Avatar in Wellington and Los Angeles, while the new Alita Battle Angel films will see him working in Austin. This snippet from the interview has sparked excitement among fans who have eagerly awaited news about the fate of the Alita franchise. With Cameron involved in the upcoming projects, anticipation is building for the continuation of the Alita Battle Angel story. While the interview doesn't delve into specifics, Cameron's acknowledgement of the Alita sequels is a positive sign for fans and suggests that the beloved manga adaptation is set for a cinematic extension, marking a significant development after the prolonged uncertainty surrounding the franchise's future. While a sequel to Alita Battle Angel may not be deemed necessary, exploring a prequel could be a compelling narrative. Throughout Alita's journey to rediscover her identity, fragmented memories of her past as a super high-tech warrior surface, providing glimpses into a mysterious and intriguing history. However, these snippets may not offer viewers a complete understanding of Alita's origins. A prequel focused on Alita's past and her experiences during the fall could address this narrative gap, offering a deeper exploration of the world she inhabits. By delving into the events that shaped her and the purpose for which she was created, the film could provide valuable context for Alita's character and her journey. Exploring the circumstances that led to her being found disembodied in a waste pile could add layers to the story and enhance the overall richness of the Alita universe. Such a prequel would not only serve to fill gaps in Alita's backstory, but also offer a broader perspective on the dystopian world depicted in the film. It could provide insights into the technological advancements, conflicts, and societal dynamics that led to the fall, enriching the audience's understanding of the intricate lore that forms the foundation of Alita's narrative. Ultimately, a prequel has the potential to captivate audiences by unraveling the mystery surrounding Alita's past and immersing them in a more comprehensive exploration of the fascinating universe created by James Cameron and John Landau. The powerful warrior stance that Alita adopts during the final scene of Alita Battle Angel serves as a compelling argument for the need for a sequel. This visual moment not only signifies Alita's self-discovery, but also showcases her confidence and readiness to face whatever challenges lie ahead. It encapsulates a classic theme found in coming-of-age narratives, symbolizing the protagonist's growth and preparedness to take on the world. The intentional framing of this scene suggests that Alita's journey is far from over and leaves audiences with a sense of anticipation for what comes next in her story. A sequel could further explore the adventures and challenges that await Alita as she embraces her identity and continues to navigate the complex world around her. By building on the foundation laid in the first film, a sequel could delve deeper into Alita's character development, relationships, and the unfolding mysteries of her past. It would provide an opportunity to expand the narrative and showcase Alita's evolving abilities and purpose. In essence, the impactful final scene creates a narrative momentum that begs for continuation, making a sequel not just desirable, but a logical progression in exploring the next chapters of Alita's heroic journey. Its initial origin tale, Although the first film successfully introduced Alita and explored her journey of self-discovery, a sequel could use the established origin as a starting point for future narratives. Rather than viewing the origin story as a standalone conclusion, a sequel could build upon the foundation laid in the first film. 
It could delve into the complexities of Alita's character, relationships, and the consequences of her newfound identity. This would allow for a more comprehensive exploration of the world and its dynamics, extending beyond the initial quest for self-discovery. By expanding the narrative, a sequel could introduce new challenges, characters, and plot lines that test Alita in different ways. This approach would provide a richer storytelling experience, allowing the audience to witness Alita's continued growth and face new trials that go beyond the scope of her origin. While Alita Battle Angel serves as a solid origin story, a sequel could capitalize on this foundation to craft a more extensive and immersive narrative. Rather than concluding the story at its origin, it could use it as a launching pad for a broader exploration of Alita's heroic journey and the world she inhabits. The argument for it not needing a sequel lies in its effectiveness as a standalone origin story. Origin stories typically introduce a character and focus on their journey of self-discovery, and in this case, Alita's narrative is considered solid and complete as it stands. On the other hand, the counterpoint suggests that it could benefit from a sequel, even if it started as an origin story. Unlike standalone origin stories, this film could use its origin narrative as a starting point for a broader franchise. Drawing parallels to successful superhero franchises like Marvel's Avengers and DC's Justice League, a sequel could explore additional quests and challenges beyond Alita's initial self-discovery. In this view, a sequel wouldn't just continue the narrative of Alita's origin, but could extend it into a larger interconnected storyline, allowing for further character development, new challenges, and a more expansive exploration of the world and its mythology. Ultimately, the question of whether Alita Battle Angel needs a sequel depends on the desired direction for the story. If the focus is on preserving the standalone nature of its origin story, then a sequel may not be necessary. However, if there's an interest in expanding the narrative into a franchise, a sequel could serve as a meaningful next step in Alita's journey. The sequel might delve into the mysterious city in the sky, Zalem, which was hinted at in the final shot of Alita Battle Angel. Exploring this enigmatic location could open up new dimensions to the story, unveiling hidden secrets and challenges for Alita. While director Robert Rodriguez has not provided details about the Alita 2 story, this speculation aligns with the potential continuation of Alita's journey, introducing fresh conflicts and expanding the cinematic universe established in the first film. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.